Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Brandon here, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Minecraft server jar file. So as always guys, please give the video a like, be sure to subscribe, and thank you to all my subscribers, you guys are awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to have to do is open up our Minecraft server folder, and we're going to have to remove our old jar file, this 179. Let's just throw it away right now. Once we get rid of that, we're going to open up our Safari, and we're going to search the new file that we want. Now I'm going to search 1.7.10. Now that's the current version, but as this video gets older, it's going to change. It's going to be 1.8, 1.9. It's going to keep going on and on. So whatever version you're trying to update to, just search it in the window here and just follow these steps. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the minecraft.net slash downloads website. And you're just going to click on it. And since we're on a Mac, we're going to have to go down to the bottom and get our server jar file. Now we just click on this and it's going to automatically start to download. Now once this is done downloading, you're just going to open this up and drag it to the desktop. And then we can go ahead and just close our, our window. We don't need that anymore. And now we're just going to drag this into our server folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our server folder jar, or not folder, but in the server jar. We're just going to get the name selected. We're going to hit command C to copy that name. Now what we have to do is right click on our start.command and we're going to open it with text edit. And once we open this, we're going to have to change the name. So what I do is just select everything up until the dot, hit command V, and that'll paste in the new jar name. So hit command S to save it, and then we can go ahead and close this once we're done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this file because it hasn't generated yet. You'll see why in a minute. So now what I'm going to do is do the double click the start.command and I'm going to allow the server to load. Now the bash window we can close if it opens up for you. If not, don't worry about it. Now as you see, it's going to say failed to load. Because this is 1710, you have to agree to these EULA terms. Now you're going to find the file EULA.txt, double click it, open it up, and all you got to do is change this false into true. Hit Command S to save it. Now we can go ahead and close that file. We'll close our terminal window and we're going to double click the start.command one more time. And then it's going to load up and work just fine. So there you go guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like. Thanks again to my subscribers. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next video.